Welcome to Real Estate Investment Management Brokerage Development, LLC. Plumbing, plumbing uh, underneath the tub um, in a garage. It's going to be an unfinished or unconditioned space. And so the reason why that's relevant is it's, it's very cold. One of the things you may notice right away is, see our floor joists here, they're 12 inches. And then here, we added an extra row of floor joists, so 24 inches. This is not for structure, this is so extra insulation can be added to the code. Um, you need the volume. So I'll show you this setup. This is for a, uh, a clean out. Now when you put that clean out in there, you got to wrap seven, uh, seven revolutions of Teflon tape, otherwise it will leak during your pressure test. And then so that's a fitting for a shower right there. Notice it penetrates back and forth between two floor joists. And then an associated vent, Every fixture needs its own fan, and then a toilet. I don't know if you can see that. That's for a toilet waste pipe, and then an associated vent, and then this runs down. Really hard to do. Really tight. Now, this waste pipe here. It's going for this tub right here. Um, now we've had a whole lot of trouble trying to get that stuff from leaking. Look at all these joints. So we end up putting Teflon tape in plumber's tape and it's a compression joint as well. So it comes here, it's like a 22 plus the length of pipe plus uh, another fitting there. A reducer down to one and a half, and then the clean out is right here. You can unscrew that, unscrew this uh, to clean it out. Now, notice you're going to have to have an access panel uh, to get to it. We thought to put an access panel only that big, and then when we had to redo this, we've had to redo this. I think seven times and we're going to test it today number eight i needed to have a bigger access panel so i could get my body up there and to do the work so when you're building your access panel uh, to get in there and to do the maintenance you should test it out because if you can't get in there and work practically um you got to make it bigger um otherwise the repairs later on in the maintenance become impossible and no fun and, and very expensive if you hire someone else. So let's go topside, see the bathroom and the tub. So this is a tub. Let me back up and show you some venting. So there's a drain pipe underneath the tub an associated vent, and a toilet, an associated vent, and there'll be a vanity with a clean out above the drain, not below, water supply associated vents. And they all converge, all converge up there, and this has been, this has been water tested, the whole system, except for this tub. So we're going to do it now. Live, it's kind of exciting. Uh, this is try number seven, so we'll see if it works. So we're going to dump our water in here. And it is draining. But the question is, are there leaks? So, let's go down and look. Get my fingers crossed right here. Please. And of course, I only want to close everything up if I know there are no leaks. So we like safety ropes and harnesses. So even for a small area, we're going to put that up. 
Hallelujah. Dun 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 dun. Let's examine. Are there leaks? Just tighten my safety harness. And oh no, this is a plastic part of the bowl. There's water. My goodness. Where is it coming from? Is a question. Wow. joints. I wonder if it's on the water joints. I don't feel it there. It's coming from somewhere. You know, you just you just don't want to seal everything up unless it doesn't leak. So Anyway, well, I guess I'm going to redo it. <laughs> but that's a plumbing, DWV fitting, drain waste vent. We're talking about adding some volume to the floor joists so you, in a non conditioned space like a garage, so you can insulate. That shows you a, a series of venting with a 22 degree slope for a tub out associated vent a toilet associated vent vanity associated vent and uh, and encouragement to build an access panel big enough for you to get your head and shoulders in uh, we hope this helps you Thank you